Okay, so we've just completed our adjusting journal entries. It's time to move on and do our adjusted trial balance. Now to do it, I've provided you with, if you click this link, you'll go to um, an Excel version of it, but you could also just print this out and kind of fill it in as you go. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it in in pen. And all we're going to do is transfer our adjusting journal entries into the adjustments column. And then we'll total it preparing the adjusted trial balance. So let's start with our first adjusting entry. Debit supplies expense, credit supplies for $4,700. So I go into my adjusted trial balance. I go debit supplies expense, $4,700. And I credit supplies, $4,700. Now I'm just going to continue. Uh, debit insurance expense, credit prepaid insurance, 93.33. Debit insurance expense, 93.33. Credit prepaid insurance, 9.333. Next one, debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation, 21.4. Uh, I see accumulated depreciation there, 21.4 and debit. Uh, depreciation expense, 21.4. I'll change that to be depreciation expense. Um, okay, continuing. Debit interest expense, credit interest payable, 12.50. Debit interest expense, 1,250. Credit interest payable, 1,250. Next. Debit unearned security revenue credit security revenue for ten grand. Debit unearned security revenue ten. Credit security revenue ten. Next up, debit salaries expense credit salaries payable for one thousand five hundred. Salaries expense where are you there you are. Credit salaries payable for one thousand five hundred. Next up, uh, debit AR, credit securities revenue for 4000 debit accounts receivable, 4000 credit security revenue, 4000 Oh, I've already credited 10 so I want to credit an additional 4 I got to make this 14000 and you can just squeeze your 14 in there. You can put 10 plus 4 if you want to do that. You might have to squeeze a little bit. Okay, so I've done all my journal entries. Now, if I've done it right, of course, debits will equal credits because that's how journal entries work, right? So let's just add it up. 4,000 plus 10,000 plus 1,500 plus 1,250 plus 21,400 plus 4,700 plus 9,333. And I get 52,183. And let's try the other side. Oh, there we are. 4,700 plus, or uh, not 47,000, 4,700 plus 9,333 plus 21,400 plus 1,500 plus 1,250 plus 1,400. And I get again 52,183. And there we have it. Dollar sign at the top and bottom of each column, and we've got our adjustments column. Now we just want to prepare our adjusted trial balance column. And to do the adjusted trial balance, you're just adding across. So you're saying, okay, my cash was a debit of 38. I didn't adjust it. It ends as a debit of 38. We should never see an adjustment to cash, by the way. When we uh, journalize in cash, it is not for adjustment purposes. We don't adjust cash. Uh, AR, debit of 12 plus a debit of 4. So a debit of 12, debit of 4 gives us a debit of 16. Here we have a debit of five and a credit of 4,700. So take the, when we have a debit and a credit, take the big one minus the smaller one. So the five minus 4,700. The big side gets the balance 300. 28,000 minus 9,333 equals 18,667 on the debit. Again, 28 minus 9,333 is 18,667. 214,000 debit didn't get adjusted. 46 credit, 21.4 credit means there's two credits, you just add them together. 67,400. Uh, 8,000 credit for accounts payable was not adjusted. 1,500 credit and 
in adjustments, but no beginning balance. Same with interest payable here. 15,000 credit, 10,000 debit. Okay, the credit side is bigger, so 15 minus 10 is 5, and the big side gets the balance. That's the credit side. No change there, no change there, no change there. Dividends, 10,000 debit, no change there. Uh, security revenue, 485, 14 means 499. Um, salaries expense, 320. There's a debit of 1500, means 321, 500. Interest expense, no beginning balance, debit of 1250. Uh, depreciation expense, 21,400 debit. Supplies expense, 4,700 debit. Repairs expense, 17,000 was not adjusted. Insurance expense was not adjusted, or was adjusted, it just didn't have a beginning balance, 9333. Rent expense, 60,000. And income tax expense, 7. So let's see where we end up here. And again, our debits need to equal credits. This is necessary because, of course, if our left hand most column debits equal credits and our middle column debits equal credits and our right column, they must because it's just a, a sum of the two columns. So let's add up this right hand most column, uh, our adjusted trial balance column. I always have a hard time finding my mouse in this software. There it is. I just wanted to move this over to the side. I thought it would look better over there. 38,000 plus 16,000 plus 300 plus 18,667 plus 214,000 plus 10,000 plus 321,500 plus 1250 plus 214 plus 4700 plus 17 plus 9333 plus 60. Plus seven. And I get 739,150. That's the number we are hoping to balance to. Let's see how we do. 67,400 plus 8,000 plus 1,500 plus 1,250 plus 5,000 plus 30,000 plus 40,000 plus 87 thousand plus four nine nine oh 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 seven thirty nine one fifty we do indeed balance double underline there dollar signs at the bottom and at the top of each column okay so we've got ourselves a good adjusted trial balance our next step will be to prepare financial statements stay tuned <laughs>